all right what's up guys i'm trying a uh, new gopro angle it's uh below my helmet now so it should be a little bit lower towards my chest um let's just see how the ride goes hopefully it's not too bad i don't know how the wind noise is going to be i did turn on wind noise to auto so we'll switch the stereo when it's not too loud and then when it has a lot of wind noise it's not stereo well, let's just see how the video goes and if it doesn't work out this will be the only edit you're gonna see with the gopro being here because i'm not trying to have a lot of noise in my footage man this feels so nice i got rid of the trick the chin strap uh just because of like the noise issue with in helmet noise i got rid of the chin strap just because it's so hot now and I wanted to be able to, you guys hear me a little bit better because the camera is way farther than my mouth is. So I hope that the audio is coming through. And I opened all the bits to my helmet and it just feels so much better. I really want to get a 360 camera. I think that'd be pretty dope. Every time I see some monsters videos with this damn Insta 360 camera, it makes me want to buy one. But I do have some uh, good updates for the channel. Uh, my edits are probably going to be the same. Uh, just for the time being. But I did get a whole new PC ordered. And it just arrived today. Right before I was leaving my house. Um, cost me a pretty penny. Because now you can't, you can't get GPUs anymore. Which sucks. So I had to order a whole pre-built uh, pre PC. I'd rather build my own PC. But that was the only option to go with. And But now at least I'll have uh, my old PC to sell. But basically what that means for the video, it's going to be better for me saving and editing. It's going to be so much quicker. But the bad thing about it right now is going to be the fact that I won't have Photoshop or anything like that on there for a while or adobe premiere which i'm using to edit so um hopefully i don't have too much downtime but i have to reinstall every single app from my old pc to the new pc it's going to be a whole brand new windows install everything so you know how the whole drivers things go the updates it's going to take forever so just bear with me if uh we miss a video or a day or two but i already said it in my last video i'm gonna probably start doing videos like every every two days unless it's something i really really want to put out there pretty quick then I'll, I'll throw it out real quick but for the most part it's probably gonna be every two days so this is what it's like if i sit in traffic instead of just going around everybody which i should have these guys are gonna race i know it they have that look in their eyes oh man it, it's getting so hot in fresno like oh my god guys like i didn't even look at the weather app and i'll be honest i probably don't even want to look at the weather app it is hot man and i know it's not even a hundred yet so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty bad i'm not gonna go until uh these people stop because i might i might die Those people were nice enough to let me go. They didn't really have to. Now I got a jam to work. All that traffic is making me late. Woo! I just really hope I'm not, I didn't mess up by going with the uh, GoPro 9. And I should have just maybe stayed with the 7. Because the 7 was doing it for me. I just wanted something better for content and everything. But for some reason lately, it's just been, it's been a lot worse. The video clips just don't look as good. During the day, they do. But at nighttime, no. There's just so much more. I feel like there's more color in this GoPro. But it adds more noise because... Most of the scenes are really dark. I 
I think on my old GoPro, the highest I put the ISO up to was 3200. And then on this one, I have it at 6400. And it's still darker than my old GoPro. I was looking at the footage back to back. I really want to get a handlebar mount. But uh, a lot of this stuff is going to wait. I just spent a bunch of money on that PC. Like, a bunch of money. They are not cheap. So, I'm going to wait a little bit until I sell my current PC. And then, you know, I'm going to start maybe buying some, some stuff little by little. Are they turning? Okay. If you're that far on the shoulder, you better be turning. Let's go! Oh yeah, this feels so much better. Having the visor down and having the chin guard not there. Or not the chin guard, but uh, the little chin pad that basically blocks a lot of the, the air coming into the helmet. What's this guy doing? Oh, he is peeing. Looks like he was peeing off the side. You can't do that, sir. You can't do that. I think it's a girl. Fast as fuck, boy. All right, guys. We are at work. Uh, just a heads up. The GoPro footage might look a lot different. And that's going to be because I turned GoPro color mode on which darkens the picture a little bit um but i'm hoping it gets rid of a lot of the the noise um iso is still going to be set at 6400 so i don't know we'll see uh, oh my God. are you recording yeah hello youtube <laughs> follow me on instagram oh my <laughs> god you gonna throw your instagram huh said so you gonna throw your instagram yeah. out there <laughs> okay, i'll see you in a bit yeah you're off oh lunch, lunch time yeah. okay i'll see you in a bit the new one I got is like 3500 <laughs> Yeah, not with the... Well, unless you want to play video games and yeah, stuff, no. Say, just, what, what, like, Mine's all water-cooled. The Gravis car is water-cooled. It's a whole custom water-cooled block. What's up, everybody? Yay! I uh, pointed the GoPro down a little bit. I tried to listen to some of the audio when I got to work just to see if it sounded okay. Um, I also did change some of my GoPro settings. By the time you guys probably see all these videos that I've been posting and asking for help and whatnot, the videos are probably not live by the time I'm making this video. So if you guys are making me suggestions, I probably have not posted the first video to see your guys' suggestions yet. Um, Cause I'm about four days out from making videos, but before I actually get them like posted. So on the settings on the GoPro, right now I'm at 6400 ISO, which I've never changed. I can't lower it. If I lower it anymore, it's just gonna get worse. But instead of the flat GoPro color, which I've been using, I'm now using uh, the GoPro color, which kind of darkens it a little bit, but I'm hoping it gets rid of the noise in the video. And staying at 6400, hopefully that helps. Um, I reached out to my, one of my buddies, the guy that I sold my GoPro to, and I asked him to give me the settings that I had on the 7 so I can match it up with my 9 because I'm having so many issues with dark scenes. Like right now, when I watched it on the PC, which will probably be about four videos back when it finally gets to you guys, it was super dark and I didn't like the quality. So I've been messing with my settings every single day. Then I decided to do GoPro flat, which helped with the low light, but then obviously the colors weren't there. So then I had to bring in some of the colors in uh, Photoshop, but I don't want to, I mean, not Photoshop in Adobe Premiere, but I don't want to sit there and have to color grade every single clip because you know how the GoPros are. They only do like eight, eight or nine minutes, I think. And with my videos going back and forth to work, I got about four clips. I have to manually hit each one of those and edit it. It's just not something I really want to do. So I'd rather it just be perfect right out of the box. It doesn't need to be perfect color. I just want it to be like something decent. And then uh, 
just upload it to you guys. I want to be fast with them because I work six days a week. So I would really love it to just be easy for me, just to cut and paste, post it up for you guys so you can see it. You guys can enjoy the video. I don't have to spend all night until four in the morning editing these. Are these people drinking or what? Like what's taking you so long? And then they just went in the dirt. I swear these guys gotta be drunk or something in front of me. I got the media mods thing for the Hero 9. So now I can hook up an external mic. And I ordered a mic that I could plug into the back of the media mod. And I'm going to basically have a dedicated mic right where I have my Cine mic, right in front of my mouth. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is not being able to possibly hear the bike or anything going on around me. I did watch some videos and it looks like it does get some background noise, but not a lot. But I'm really hoping it will cut down on you guys actually being able to hear what I'm saying and not watch a video with a bunch of noise. Like right now, I'm probably talking and there's a lot of noise and you might be able to barely hear me. And I want to be a little bit more professional with the videos, even though I'm not trying to edit them like crazy. I just want to get some content out for you guys. But because I feel like I'm the only person that puts out daily content at the moment that modifies these bikes that rides them like almost every day and I keep continuing to want to do mods for them I'm not just a uh, e-bike person that just rides the bike and just posts up group riding videos I actually mess with my bike kind of show you some stuff I did my process through the bike what I'm doing what you can do to the bike what I've learned from the bike as I've had it if you guys have ever been thinking about getting one and I think that's the difference because a lot of people I see riding these bikes they don't have modifications done to them they just have them bone stock and they just switch between like a Super 73 and, or an Onyx or uh, a Surum but they're completely stock and there's nothing wrong with that I'm not talking shit you know like I watch their videos too it's great I like to see what's going on with the e-bike community and stuff. It's, this, is, this stuff is super fun. Those group rides are awesome. I'm kind of jealous I'm not in them. But I feel like that's kind of where my content stands out a little bit. Is that I kind of have a modified bike. And I'm always riding it every day. You guys get to see everything I go through. And a lot of people don't ride their bike like I do. I'm in traffic every single day. Zigzagging. I'm keeping up with cars. I think we got pulled over once. I don't stay in the bike lane. I get in it when I need to go past cars. That's the only time I'm in the bike lane. Oh, what the hell is this? This is some bullshit. If I would have had that 72 amp battery, I could have just flew. I would have just like flown past this light. Probably would have popped the wheelie doing it too. Um, man, I feel really talkative today. And I hope you guys can really hear me because I moved the camera down, which I said earlier in the video. It's down by my chin. So I angled it down just a little bit more so maybe you can see the bars but I didn't want to do it too far down because if you can't see the sky then it looks kind of like, looks kind of stupid. I've had some of my videos be like that where it just pointed too straight down. And I feel now that I got this new GoPro I feel like I'm almost starting all over trying to figure out the sweet spot for uh, how I like my content to be straight out of the GoPro so when I go to edit it I don't have much to do really at all so I'm still getting there I'm hoping this video comes out good I'm hoping it doesn't come out dark if it is I'm still gonna post it and I apologize if the video doesn't look good and if it does great but I won't know until I get it back to uh, my house and look at it I also I'm trying to rush back home I got a new computer it's pretty badass I'll try to get some uh, footage of it real quick when I get back. It's really hard to get PC components now and uh, it, it was just best for me to buy a uh, pre-built. So I'll definitely show it in the video. I really can't believe that ever since I got an e-bike, um, I want to say it was in January when I got it. 
obviously we hit a thousand subscribers that's crazy we're in uh uh may and it's just crazy like how fast that happened i, I know i was at like 500 before everything because i did post up uh, racing videos before this but i'm so surprised that when i ride this thing i don't care to do 150 miles an hour like in my car which i do on the freeway i don't care to race anybody i can't race anyone if i wanted to no i might want to fuck around with some people i get that 72 volt battery hell yeah but i'm not going out looking to race people anymore like this is so exciting to me like riding this bike is so fun anyone that has a bmx bike or rode a bmx bike back in the day as like a kid or growing up and then you got your car and then you kind of threw your bmx bike to the side you know i'm telling you like this is just like riding a bmx bike but like an adult version that stays up with traffic that's the best way i can explain it and i know it's much more than that it's a dirt bike you can do a bunch of crazy shit with it you go off-roading and jump this thing if you really wanted to this thing is like a serious contender for uh like being an actual dirt bike not for me that's not what i use it for i think emoto bros came out with a video basically stating these aren't made for the road and they're not wrong but you can definitely use these for the road and you know i record every single one of my videos and if anything happens you know a cop sees me pulls me over says something you definitely know i'm recording it so i would definitely say say uh subscribe and just follow along because you never know something could definitely happen with me and this bike and i, I pray to god not you know i do have a backup one but i think the worst that's going to happen is i might get let, I might get let off with a warning or they might say like hey you know you're going too fast than what an electric bike does and I can you know say I modify this one or something or maybe just say oh I'm in off-road mode it's supposed to be on on road mode and I was just in a rush to get home and maybe I'll just get a ticket for you know going too fast or something but I just didn't I don't want to get this bike impounded that would be the worst actually um all right guys that's the video and i hope it came out good because like i said i moved my gopro i changed the settings i don't even know what to expect right now i adjusted them right before i uh left so uh we will see which this probably won't be posted until four or five days after i actually edit this video because i have so much stuff to do and i'm switching computers right now and that's the bad thing um, I got to reinstall all my editing software and stuff. So I'm off tomorrow and I'm going to try to get that done. So hopefully everything goes smooth and I'm back up to editing because I got a lot of content. So, all right, guys, see you in the next one. Peace out. And then here is the new one. It's the front of it. Got some pretty cool fans in it. This is the graphics card. We got a RTX 3080 for the win 3 Ultra. And we have a 5900X behind that EVGA all-in-one. And I think it's 32 gigabytes of memory, but I'm thinking I might pull out my G skill RAM. I'm not 100% sure definitely going to be taking my thousand watt power supply and putting it in this bad boy but this is the new editing rig and i need to already fix something <laughs> i can hear that fan so i need to, i need to fix that already the fans are really close to the the ram up there but yeah we're going to be editing on this thing so uh stay tuned